Red Dead Redemption is 10 years old today, today being 18th of May 2020, and I'm sure many of us have many fond memories of Rockstar's popular western action adventure game with its titular character John Marston. To celebrate the special occasion, we decided that we'd reminisce on some of the unique and wonderful easter eggs and secrets that Rockstar hid away in this big old cowboy shooter. So here are some things that you may or may not have known about in Red Dead Redemption. One of the ways that Rockstar hid easter eggs and secrets was via gravestones across the game's map. A bunch of these are all sorts of jokes and references to pop culture. The most iconic and memorable ones are these two cheeky tombstones which reference the Dollars film trilogy and Clint Eastwood himself who starred in the popular western films. Get three coffins ready. Uh -huh. The Sasquatch has been a creature running amok in Rockstar games since Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, but players were finally able to hunt down this creature thanks to the Undead Nightmare DLC that was released for Red Dead Redemption in October 2010. When you finally hunt down and kill the mythical creature, you'll get treated to a little achievement called Six Years in the Making, which is actually a nod to the long-running Grand Theft Auto myth. Players could finally rejoice now that they've got an ending to the myth that's been haunting them since San Andreas. The Wilhelm Scream has been an infamous scream in films and TV ever since it was first introduced back in the 50s. It has been used time and time again in a variety of things and Rockstar decided that they'll also jump on the bandwagon with Red Dead Redemption. Every now and then you can hear the iconic scream after you've finished gunning down enemies. It's just a lovely little nod to a popular reference used throughout the film and TV industry. As you may or may not remember, there was a scrawny little character by the name of Seth who loved to go grave digging. He was a bit of a peculiar character and very much someone who was unhinged. In fact, when you think about it, he's very similar to another scrawny, peculiar and unhinged character. What happened? My partner. He still has my map. And what map's that then? The map partner. Yes, of course the developers at Rockstar are Lord of the Rings fans. I mean, who isn't these days? But they're such a fan that they gave Gollum this cheeky little nod by creating Seth. He is just basically a Wild West version of Smeagol, but instead of the one ring to rule them all, it's one map to rule, well, no one. It's just a treasure map. Precious. Have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just... Back in the day, there was a little old city called Tumbleweed in the Gate Tooth region of New Austin. It was a busy settlement, but when modern transportation grew, it was soon quickly abandoned and forgotten due to it lacking a train station stop. What was once a lively place quickly became a ghost town. The reason we mention this is because you can actually visit this place in Red Dead Redemption. In fact, there's one particular house that players can check out, which seems to be a little haunted. Or at least that's what players seem to believe. One YouTuber tried to trigger some hauntings by shooting out all the lights, windows, even skulls that were hung up on the walls, but alas, he had no luck. Nevertheless, the legend lives on and Tumbleweed is a nice nod to a once forgotten town. During one of your many adventures, you might have come across a natural formation called the Broken Tree. If so, you will have noticed a nice little tree in the wild beside a broken brick wall, which is actually much like the one from the hit film The Shawshank Redemption. But that's not where the reference stops. If you walk along the brick wall, you'll eventually find a pile of stones just like in the film, which has some buried treasure underneath it. This is referencing the box that Andy had buried in Shawshank Redemption and had asked Morgan Freeman's character to go find when he got out. If you ever get out of here, do me a favor. Sure, Andy. Anything. There's a big hayfield up near Buxton. You know where Buxton is? Well, just, there's a lot of hayfields up there. One in particular. 
Got a long rock wall, a big oak tree at the north end. It's like something out of a Robert Frost poem. Promise me, Red. If you ever get out, find that spot. There's something buried under it I want you to have. What end? What's buried under there? Oh my good lord! On top of that being a banging reference, you'll also nab yourself a lovely gold bar too, so all in all, it's pretty tough. But that was just a select few of our favourite easter eggs and secrets in Red Dead Redemption. The game is absolutely stuffed with so much more, so why not boot it up and hunt them down to properly celebrate its 10 year anniversary.